हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ प्रॉब्लम 13.1 चैप्टर नंबर 13 इज प्रोकेटिंग इंटरनल कंबशन इंजंस फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ लाइट थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडी स्टॉप एंड मिकॉन्की the statement of the problem 13.1 is a quality governed four stroke single cylinder gas engine has a bore of 146 mm and a stroke of 280 mm at 475 revolution per minute and full load the net load on the friction brake is 433 newton and the torque arm is 0.45 m The indicator diagram gives a net area of 578 square millimeter and a length of 70 millimeter, with a spring rating of 0.815 bar per millimeter. Calculate the indicated power, brake power, and the mechanical efficiency. So, first of all, the data. will be extracted from this statement and the given data is it is given in the statement that there is four stroke and single cylinder engine so number of cylinders is represented with small n and it is equal to 1 the bore of the cylinder is actually the diameter of the cylinder and it is represented with small d and it is 146 mm we are trying to convert other units to system international units si units so it becomes 0.146 m stroke length which is represented with capital l and it is 280 mm or 0.28 m the cyclic rpm revolution per minute is represented by capital n and it is 475 revolution per minute so dividing it by 60 we get 7.916 revolution per second we need this value at later stage to find the value of indicated power brake power and finally the mechanical efficiency the full load or the net load that is represented by w or b it is 433 newton also the torque arm is represented with capital r and it is 0.45 meter net area of the indicated diagram is aid aid is in subscript this is not a standard notation but it is used for indicated diagram so the net area of the indicated diagram is 578 square millimeter r 578 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter also the indicated diagram length is 70 mm or 70 into 10 to the power minus 3 m spring rating or spring rate constant is represented with, with small k and it is 0.815 bar per mm or 815 bar per m we will write mm in m and it is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 m so when we divided 0.815 with 10 to the power minus 3 it becomes 815 bar per meter we are required to find three things in this problem indicated power brake power and mechanical efficiency these three things are required so coming to the solution uh, we know from the text of this chapter that is chapter number 13 
in theory indicated power is equal to indicated pressure into area into length or stroke length into n which is rpm into small n which is number of cylinders by 2 for a four stroke engine so the indicated pressure is further calculated by net area of the indicated diagram into rating constant or spring rating divided by indicated diagram length yeah our length of the indicated diagram so in this expression expression a pi is first calculated so a i d is 578 into 10 power minus 6 k is 815 bar per meter and l i d is 70 into 10 power minus 3 so when we simplify this we get 6.73 bar also to find this area it is equal to pi by 4 d square this is actually the surface area of the piston or cylinder cross section area of the cylinder 5 by 4 d, d is 0 0.146 that is bore square so the area is 0 0.01674 square meter so putting b and c values in expression a so expression a becomes indicated power is equal to pi is 6.73 bar so converting it to pascal we will multiply to this power 5 factor multiplied by a a is 0 0.01674 multiplied by l which is 0 0.28 meter multiplied by n which is 7.916 and small n is the number of cylinders and it is 1 divided by 2. So when we simplify this we get 12485.4 watt. Converting it or writing it in kilo we get 12.4854 kilowatt. Further up to 2 decimal point we can write that indicated power is equal to 12.49 kilowatt. Now to find the brake power we have the expression 2 pi nt. So let's suppose this is expression d. So in this expression t is unknown and t is actually the torque. Torque is equal to load into the torque arm which is r. So the net load here is 433 and r is 0 0.45 meter. So simplifying this we get 194.85 newton meter value for the torque. Now we know about all values of the parameters. So brake power becomes equal to 2 pi, n is 7.916, t is 194.85 newton meter. Simplifying it, we get the value of brake power which is 9.69 kilowatt. Now in third stage, mechanical efficiency is equal to brake power divided by indicated power. Mechanical efficiency is actually the ratio of brake power to the indicated power. So brake power is 9.69 and indicated power is 12.49. So when we divide it, we get 0.776 or in percentage, the mechanical efficiency is 77.6%. So this is all about solution of problem 13.1. If you like my videos, please subscribe my channel for upcoming videos. Thank you.